Okay, third time's a charm. Welcome back. I am Justin. This is Fox and Robin recording. I don't know why I couldn't get that right the first time or the second time, but today we've got a lovely surprise and a, well, surprise for you guys. I've known about it and also did it. But anyways, I'm going to show you what we did to this guy. This is, um, this is kind of an exciting uh, video we're doing here. We haven't done one like this ever. Um, but this, as everybody knows, is a Fender Telecaster, right? This guy was made in Mexico. I bought it during the height of the pandemic because I wanted, actually I needed a new guitar. I didn't want one. I need the one I was playing, the neck broke. It was kind of, ah. Um, I'm holding it upside down. It actually goes this way. But anyways, you guys probably noticed that I held it upside down for the first part of this video. Anyways, today we are going to show you uh, the modifications we have done to this. Um, it still has the stock neck, still has the stock tuners, still has all of this is still stock down here, all these knobs and the selector switch. Strings are obviously not, I've restrung it a couple times since then, as one should. Um, this tailpiece is all, let's see the tailpiece here. This tail piece here is all stock, including this pickup. But you'll probably notice that the pick guard does look stock, but it's not. It's actually uh, a knockoff I bought on Amazon um, because we installed, let me get up close here, we installed this humbucker here. It's a 59 humbucker from Seymour Duncan. Um, it sounds fantastic. Um, it's taken I'll back up here. It's taken us some time, taken some time here, to get this kind of dialed in running both pickups. It's great. Left the single coil. Single coil still has that nice twangy. I, I want to call it twangy. That brighter telecaster sound. Nice bright telecaster sound that you'd normally get. The humbucker is nice and warm. Still is bright though, but it's warmer than the the, the single coil um, but the problems I had was when you run them together the balance was a little off um, or you'd run one you're like okay that one's kind of nice and you go oh, and like, oh that's way too loud um, just the pickup volumes are different so we had to kind of adjust heights and stuff uh, with these pickups once we got them in there um, I did try and I don't recommend trying this uh, on your own again unless you're really good with a Dremel and cutting tools um, I am not as good as I thought I was. But uh, basically, I cut out a pick guard, a fender pick guard, not the one that came in this, a, a different one, um, to fit the humbucker. And I cut it just a little bit funky and it just left too much gaps and just looked weird. And I was like, ah, it's going to bother me. It was functional, but I just didn't like the way it looked. So I went on Amazon and bought this one. Um, uh, I switched it out because I was getting a lot of humming and buzzing in this guitar. I had a lot of, uh, you'd kind of slide your hand across the pick guard and you get all the static popping. Um, intentional sound on me, not on the guitar. Uh, didn't like that. Couldn't, it wasn't, it, it just kind of got worse over time. And I tried all sorts of things. I tried the dryer, you know, dryer sheet, rubbing that over it to kind of help. I tried different cleaners. That kind of helped. All these things that I tried kind of helped, and I even pulled pick up, pulled it out, took it to Guitar Shop, and had them pull it apart. And they looked at it and they're like, "No, everything should be fine. You're, you shouldn't be getting any static." And I was getting a ton of static. Um, they tried regrounding it, and it just when they regrounded it, it got worse. So I was like, "You know what? Uh, I think it's time for a different set of pickups in this." And the guys at Guitar Center, um, they, uh, which I know, I know a couple of them fairly well. Um, they recommended this pickup, and I'm so glad they did. It does. It's changed the sound of this telly. Um, it has made it sound great. Um, not that it wasn't a good sound to begin with, but it's it's made it more of a guitar that I've been looking for, more the sound I've been looking for. And uh, it was actually fairly easy. I just took off the first pick guard and unsoldered everything, all the cables. There's like three cables that hook the front, the pickup uh, in the pick guard. Those, those lipstick, they have three, they have, I think it's hot, cold, and ground, I think is what it was. And I undid it, and this guy just has ground and hot, that's it. So I put the hot where the hot needed to go, and then I, 
I actually had to play with the grounding a little bit in it because um, it was grounding itself out. Where if I would if I would have done it the way the schematic told me, it started for some reason it was grounding itself out. So I took it and I just grounded it straight to where the telly itself grounds itself. Everything else, it has a little screw that's screwed in with a piece of metal, and I just went right to it and I cleaned it up, made it, everything work. So um, in the position that it is now with this down. So if I get it close here and look at the selector. I'm trying to do this and look at a video at the same time. I probably should just look at the guitar. Um, basically you have the first position all the way down which is this pickup. And you go here in the middle you actually get both of these pickups. Which is kind of a cool sound. It's nice and bright and warm. And then if you kind of want a jazzy sound, something warm and kind of jazzy, you can go just to this pickup. And it is a fantastic sounding pickup. You still have all the things. You can still change the tone of this with the tone knob and the volume, so this master volume. All that does the same thing with this in there. And a lot of people do that. Um, I think even Telecaster made a series, and I don't remember, and don't don't call me on it either because I don't know. But I know they for sure they did do a series. I just don't know what the series is of Tellys with hum a humbucker, and it may have been the deluxe. I don't know. Can't remember. But they did do a series like this setup. They also do a series that's an HH. It's got a hum dual humbuckers. Usually it's a lipstick, single coil, and then a single coil bridge. Um, I did see one, and I don't know if it was a legit telly or not, but it was a humbucker, single coil in the middle, humbucker at the bottom. I don't know if that was a special custom, custom shop thing or what, but um, I haven't seen it since, so I can't, I can't for sure say what it was or if it was a legit Telecaster. But um, this one's a Mexico made one. And I love how it plays. But you know, guys, one more important thing you've got to remember to subscribe. And you've got to remember to hit the bell and our like buttons uh, just to help support our channel and help us uh, know what we're doing right. Uh, sometimes we don't know because nobody likes the video. So we're like, oh, that video editor did really well, or we did a very bad job making it. But uh, let us know how we're doing. Send us likes, comments, emails. Uh, you can check out our website, foxandrobinrec.com. Uh, you can go there and you can look at our studio and see what we're doing. Um, you can go to our Instagram too, which is just foxandrobinrec. Just search that in Instagram and it will pop up. Uh, so thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.